Basic Math Chapter 8, Section 8, Dividing Mixed Numbers. Dividing a mixed number by a fraction is like dividing a fraction by another fraction. For example, divide 4 and 2 thirds by 7 ninths. Step 1, change the mixed number to an improper fraction. Remember, you can multiply the denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. So 3 times 4 plus 2 would be 14. Then keep the original denominator, in this case 3. So 4 and 2 thirds becomes 14 over 3 divided by 7 ninths. Step 2, change the sign to multiplication. Step 3, invert the second fraction. Do not change the first fraction. So 7 ninths becomes 9 over 7. Step 4, multiply. Simplify the quotient if possible. Cross cancel, cross cancel. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divide, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. 6 over 1 is 6. The quotient of 4 and 2 thirds divided by 7 over 9 is 6. I'm going to scoot it way up so I can practice underneath. So we could take a look at number 13. So we have 3 fifths divided by 2 and 1 fourth. So this would be 4 times 2 plus 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Then the original denominator stays as the denominator, in this case 4. Then the next step is to write 3 fifths times 4 ninths. So we take the second fraction and invert it. We can cross cancel. 3 and 9 have a common factor of 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 4 and 5 can't change. No common factor. 4 times 1 is 4 and 5 times 3 is 15. So number 13's answer is 4 over 15. Let's look at 15. 2 over 7. Now, the mixed number, 1 and 1 third, would be like saying 3 times 1 plus 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4 over 3. And it's being divided. Next step, first fraction stays the same. Division sign becomes multiplication. 4 over 3 invert to 3 over 4. Cancel if you can. 2 and 4 have a common factor of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 7 and 3 don't have a common factor, so then multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. 7 times 2 is 14. There's your answer. So if you'd like to work out 14 or 16 on your notepad, you can. And there's some more. If you'd like to practice, you could pause the video right here. There's also practice B we can take a look at. So this is divide. Remember to change the mixed numbers or whole numbers to fractions. So now it's got whole numbers, 
n mixed numbers so you can work with all these types. Scoot it over to the side so I got a little bit more space. Let's do 20. So we've got 3 over 8 divided by 4 becomes 4 over 1. Then 3 over 8, change division sign to multiplication and invert 4 over 1 by changing it to 1 over 4. We can't cross cancel, so now we can just multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. 8 times 4 is 32. And that's the answer. 24 has 1 third divided by 4 fifths. Doesn't have a whole number, doesn't have a mixed number. We can practice our division. 1 third stays the same. The division sign becomes multiplication, and the second fraction gets inverted. So 4 fifths gets flipped upside down to 5 over 4. Can we cross cancel? No. So if 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 4 is 12. And that's the answer. 28 has a whole number of 6. You can make 6 into a fraction by putting it over 1. Then we can rewrite 2 thirds, change the division sign to multiplication, and invert the second fraction. So 6 over 1 becomes 1 over 6. Can we cross cancel? Yes. 2 and 6 have a common factor of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now multiply 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9, that's the answer. One more. We, again, do not have a mixed number or a whole number. We each have two fractions getting divided. So let's keep the first fraction the same. The division sign becomes multiplication. The second fraction gets inverted. Can we cross cancel? 7 and 14 have a common factor of 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 3 and 6 also have common factor 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4, so the answer is 1 fourth. Everyday problem solving. The gym displays a chart of daily running times. It shows the number of days each person runs in a month. It shows it also shows the monthly total for each person. Some of the data are missing from the chart. One, how many days did Bly run on the track that month? Divide the monthly total by the daily time. So here's Bly. So each day he ran three fourths of an hour. <clears throat> total is seven and a half hours. So if we divide the total of the month by the daily time, we should get our answer. So the total month was seven and one half divided by three fourths. So let's change this to times 7 plus 
1. So that would give us 15 over 2. Change the division sign to multiplication and make 3 fourths into 4 over 3. Cross cancel if you can, which we can. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. Fifteen divided by three is five. And three divided by three is one. Five times two is ten over one. And that is equal to 10 days. There's a couple more you can practice if you'd like. You can pause the video here. And if you'd like some more help, let me know. And you also have your workbook for chapter eight, section eight. Thank you.